welcome back to more Dragon Ball. I'm here with my reaction to episode 56 and yes, I'm standing up. Now, I haven't swapped desks or anything like that. I have a standing desk and I don't tend to stand anymore when I'm doing my reactions, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys, my back is killing me today and there's just something about sitting down that I'm like, nah. Not doing it. So we're standing. Yeah. Oh God, motion sickness. Let's let's not do that again. Whew. We are in a brand new village. We almost died in the last episode. Not the first time that we have almost died. We have made it to Penguin Village. And it definitely seems like the creators of the show have made clones, I guess, like clone characters of the characters that we are used to. So I guess that's who we're gonna hang out with for a little while. I'm kinda seeing uh, a new potential love interest. So out the window with Chi Chi, out the window with Snow. And who is this new girl, eh? Goku kind of gets around a little bit. He just doesn't know that he gets around a little bit. <laughs> now, don't forget, if you want to watch this unedited with me, you can head on over to my website, suzylu.co.uk. I just want to apologize real quick for something. So my website went down, which it wasn't anything to do with my side. There was an issue on the host side and they were so shocking with communication. Like I had absolutely no idea what was going on, what the problem was, when it was coming back or anything like that. So I do want to apologize to the VIP members who had like a disturbed day. I'm saying day because I'm actually filming this right now as the site is down. And I'm hoping <laughs> that it is gonna be back up very, very soon. So I'm a little bit um, annoyed by the situation, as you can imagine. Right, with that being said, let's delve on into episode 56. Goku was in hot pursuit of the sinister General Blue, who stole three Dragon Balls from Master Roshi's island. Gosh, I actually forgot for a second that he has crashed. But he's crashed with the Dragon Balls. So we've landed. I don't know where the Nimbus decided to go. But yeah, we need to go to where he ran into the cliff so we can get the Dragon Balls back. Goku landed in a strange place known as Penguin Village, where more adventure awaits him today. Oh. Hi! Huh? Oh, hi. Oh, she's adorable! I'm excited, you guys. I don't know why every time we come across, like, a new little girl, I'm always like, Oh, so cute! <laughs> Hello, what's your name? I'm called Goku. My name is Irelli. And this is Gatchin 1 and 2. Yay, yay, yay! Oh, couldn't think of a name for the other one, hey? Just 1 and 2? Hey, Nimbus Cloud, hurry back! Yeah, Nimbus Cloud! I got a bone to pick with you! Not that Goku wasn't able to land on his feet, but jeepers! Huh? He's like, what just happened? <laughs> no way he survived this! Like, come on, General Blue! I know that you got that... No, he did, he did. Impossible! No one could have survived that fall! What is that kid made of? No one should have survived your fall either, but here we are! Aha! There there's the smoke! It doesn't look like there's much left of the plane. I hope the Dragon Balls are safe. That's so funny. He's not like, you know, I hope that he didn't die too harshly. <laughs> I think I'm too kind. What? This guy is insane! He is not human! Like, I expect this from Goku, but I don't expect it from anyone else. He must have gotten away and taken the Dragon Balls with him! Uh, I know you're around here somewhere! Uh, 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 uh. What in the world? How did you guys get up here so fast? Incredible! You're as fast as my Nimbus Cloud, maybe faster. Who did you train with? 
No one. I just like to run. It's fun. I mean, I guess when you run over and over, you eventually get quicker, but still. Flying Nimbus. I bet she's pure enough. Take her on the Nimbus. Would you mind giving me a ride on your cloud? Yeah, no problem. If it lets you. She's pure. She's pure. <laughs> Yay! Oh, they all are. You heard her. Let's go. Fly. Yeah, Bulma. How about that one, huh? Oh, she dropped her hat. Yes! I wouldn't be doing loop-de-loops like that. That's not very nice for them. See, stand up desk and I get to dance to the music. It's like freeing. <laughs> Such a strange backward place. With one tank, I could conquer it in a day. These simpletons would think I was a god. Are you sure about that? You don't know anything about them to be saying that. Oh. Hmm? Oh. oh. They know you're a bad man. Ha <laughs> ha. That's what you get. Go phone home, you loser. You got no transport or anything. Hey, what's the big idea? Can't you see I'm trying to drive here? Stop whining. Get out of the car. What? Why, you little... <laughs> this is a GTA going on right here. This should be fun. Oh. All right, stranger. I'm assuming you didn't stop me for my autograph. Hmm. Wait here a moment. I'll be right back. <laughs> Wait, what is he doing? Is he phoning for backup or something? Oh, Superman! The I become. Oh my gosh, he's total Solar Superman! Man, incredibly strong and regular. Oh. oh, you should be scared. Oh, I bet he's got a body like him under there too. Perhaps, but I would lose the bow oh, tie if small. I were you. What do you know about being a superhero? Have you ever changed clothes in a phone booth? Or spent hours <laughs> combing your hair just to get that perfect curl? But you missed the middle bit though. I can relate to that. I've got one of those too. Bear witness to the awesome power that is me. Oh. Oh no. Don't let it show. Don't let it show. You did it. He's in a lot of pain right now, but he's trying not to show it. <laughs> if you do not move out of my way, I will be forced to use extreme measures. Don't let him disrespect you like that, little Superman. Punch him. Or I'll do it for you. I'm not scared of him. Oh, no. It's changing room. <laughs> well, then, okay. So have you ever thought about taking a sidekick, sir? I'm sure I can free up my calendar. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I need something that doesn't have feet. Do you have an airplane? Yes! An airplane would be perfect, wouldn't it? Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> That's because you don't need an airplane, do you? You can fly, I believe. Simbi Noramaki is who you want to see, sir. And where does this Noramaki reside? Yes, it's very simple. Just head down this road until you get to the sea. Turn right and his house is on the left. Are you being serious, though? Because I would... Wait, he's stealing your car! Certainly. It's my privilege, sir. Oh, I'd be raging! I love my car! <laughs> you can run, you fiendish rogue, but Sour Man will still be here. I love you, Sour Man. I love you so much. Sour Man or Superman? <laughs> Pick your poison. Why? She's just driving. What's the problem? What did I do this time? That's Officer Sora, Mommy, Miss, and you were speeding. Speeding? Didn't you see how slow I was going? Besides, there was no one on the road for miles. Lucky for them. In any case, there's no <sighs> excuse for speeding. But, but it was perfectly safe, though. Fine, I think speed I limits like are dumb, okay? That's garden. just my opinion. So she is getting the Bulma treatment in the show, definitely. Hi, Aureli. Hi! And who is this? I don't believe I've ever seen you before. He's just visiting. His name is Goku. Hello. Nice to meet you. 
Is Is nobody surprised by a flying cloud? I'm sorry, but like if someone pulled up next to me and they were sitting on a flying cloud, I'd be like, what is that? It's called the Flying Nimbus. It's neato. It even does tricks and stuff. You should try it. Would you? It does the loop de loop, but you gotta hold on. Sure, but you should probably be careful. Oh, she's yes! I knew it! I knew it! She is not pure. Only people with clean minds and hearts can ride aboard the Nimbus Cloud. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah? Laughing? I'd like to see you try and sit on it. Go on then. Hmm? Then why don't you try it? My pleasure. Oh yeah? Exactly! I'm surprised it didn't just move out the way for you. <laughs> I'm looking for a bad person, too. Maybe you've seen him. Who? Is it someone really dangerous? Like a bank robber? I don't know, but he's a member of the Red Ribbon Army. Did you see Red Ribbon Army? The Red Ribbon Army is here in Penguin Village? Ah, yeah. so they've heard about it then. That's interesting that they've heard of it, but the Red Ribbon Army before this hadn't found them yet. Hmm, okay. Okay, interesting. And it's only one guy. Okay, you'll be fine. Goku is here. I still believe that the flying Nimbus could probably do some moves as well. Quite like to see that. I still want the filler episode, the background of the flying Nimbus. The Red Ribbon Army is the most dangerous criminal organization on the planet. What do they want with us? I'm not sure. It could be that they're just passing through or they may be planning some sort of invasion. That's really sad, though, that he's freaking out this much, but if you didn't just take off, Goku could have told you what was happening. Come on! You stupid piece of junk! I just want to get back to headquarters so I could walk faster than this! <sighs> well, maybe if you looked where you were going, you might still have a plane! How about that? <laughs> I said what? That's an order! If only that's how it worked. My car literally broke down like two days ago as well and I thought about kicking it, but uh, I didn't want to break my foot. <laughs> if I had to guess, I would say it was broken. Here, let me take a look at it. Oh, I see. This isn't so bad. If you just connect this wire and rotate that valve, it'll just take a minute. I wish you knew who you were helping right now. I would tell you not to. Such a kind and thoughtful boy. He reminds me of Samuel, my little brother. Can it be that I found you after all these years? I've missed you, little one. Well, See how easy that is. That is weird. That is weird. I love automobiles, especially the vintage models like yours. You always did love to fix things, didn't you, Samuel? Sorry, you must have me confused with someone else. Ah. That's kind of sad though that obviously he he's lost his brother at some point. <laughs> but it's like you don't just be like, "Ah, you're my brother. Hello, brother. Let me just kiss you." Complete stranger. Fool, we okay. Really realize your brother is never coming back. Focus on your mission. Okay, so you know what? He's got a bit of a soft side to him. Barely. I'll need to see your license and registration. I'm sorry, officer. Well, I didn't carry them with me today. Must have left them in my other jacket. Very well, then you'll need to come with us. Wait, what? That's not how the law works. He just wanted to put him in handcuffs, let's be honest. Stop! You're under arrest! <laughs> if you know that there's a red ribbon guy hanging about, why did you bother? So, what do you guys do for fun around here? Personally, I love to bowl. Oh no. Oh guys, get out the way! I guess he didn't want to fix the car after all. <laughs> Once again, I'm in need of an automobile. Do you mind if I take yours? Gladly, sir! <laughs> the keys are in the ignition. You guys, you can tell that this is just like one of those country bumpkin little villages. They're not used to having to deal with anything like this. We tried to apprehend him, but he's unstoppable. So I was right. The bad man is still alive. Which way did he go? 
straight. Just follow the sirens. Thanks for your help, policeman. We're gonna get him, don't you worry. Penguin Village will be back to normal before you know it. Watch her run. She's gonna catch up, isn't she? <laughs> Come on, he's gonna look to his right and there she's gonna be. I know you're around here somewhere. Wait, did he just tell him that he took the car, right? That he's in a police car? <laughs> Missed me again. Goku, how can you be so stupid? Uh-oh. <laughs> Oops! It is a road, girl. Like, there's meant to be cars there. <laughs> like, watch where you're running. Huh? Hello. I don't suppose you have a spare tire. Are you hungry? Huh? Oh my goodness! Are they what? <laughs> what are these things? Sorry about that. I'll find you some more food. Uh, I'm not hungry, thank you. I don't what think in the world? I never even really questioned whatever they are. Yum. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Get that ugly thing out of my face. I don't know where it's been. Zero fat. Tasty. It looks like a piece of poo. Like what? All of you, you're all insane. Maybe you'd like to try a different flavor. <laughs> what? <laughs> just... Guys, is there like pink poo on this island? It's what it's meant to be, right? Okay. <laughs> he is not doing so well here. I feel like there's tons of references here maybe that I'm not picking up. Like that is 100% a reference from another movie. Or like a TV show or something and I, I don't know. Oh! Although actually the blonde one? Was that Bam Bam? If I only had a way to find him. Uh. Hey wait! I do have something here I can use. The Go radar? Oh my gosh. Why did I not talk about this ages ago? Oh no, oh. it's broken again. Oh. I guess I'll have to take it back home and ask Bulma to repair it. No, we're not leaving this place until we've dealt with him. He could be miles gone by then. Oh no, how can I get the radar fixed if I can't get home? Are you sure it's broken? Yes. Then that means a doctor can fix it. Really? No. What? Right. No, Do you no. Know where one lives? That doesn't make any sense, girl. Like, it's not. Do you know what? I'm not going to say anything because maybe a doctor on their island is very different to what I'm thinking right now. I've never seen that boy before. Maybe it's a long lost <laughs> relative. Your side. I have a Wait a minute. Detail, Wait a minute. Like is this meant to be Master yeah, Roshi, he's Launch, he's and Cr Baby Krillin? <laughs> How are you? Fine. And you? Goku over there. Are you his wife? Yeah, that, that didn't make sense to me either. <laughs> you hunt dragons with this thing? Dragon balls. There are seven in all, and the radar helps me find them. That's fine. But I need to know how it works. What makes it tick? I believe it works uh, by detecting unique energy signatures emitted by certain objects. The baby is more intelligent than I am, you guys. Whoa. Its construction looks simple enough. I don't mean to be rude, but this guy is no Bulma. What in the world is that? I've never seen anything like this before. Look at all the colors. It's really <laughs> high tech. Who could design such a thing? A girl named Bulma made it. Hmm? Girl? You say a little girl made this complex machine? I knew he was gonna have a freak out over that information. Little does Goku know, but the Dragon Balls are coming to him as General Blue makes his way to Simbei's house. Can our hero stop this one-man army, or will he wreak more havoc on Penguin Village? Goku has this, you guys. He has this. At the end of the day, right? 
General Blue is scared of Goku. He is scared of Goku. So he might be cocky just now because he thinks, you know what? I can deal with all of these villagers and the police and they don't stand a chance. But as soon as he comes to deal with Goku, nah, nah, game over. Yeah, I feel like there was a ton of references in that episode that were maybe referencing other TV shows, other movies. We've seen this before in Dragon Ball. So if there was, I would love you guys to let me know in the comments as to who is what and maybe leave like some timestamps or whatever just so that I can have a wee look because that kind of stuff like it really interests me. Alright you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!